What's up, people? It's your boy again, the Black Cobra, back again with your gadgets, your games, and your gear. So today, we're talking about the Ring home security system. We're also going to talk about the Ring video doorbell. And then as an added bonus, I'm going to throw in the Ecobee 4 Alexa-enabled thermostat. I installed them all in my home. I'm going to talk about it, give you an idea, and we're going to get into it. So let's go. All right, so let's just get right into it. The ring alarm system. There are several of these types of alarm systems that are coming out right now. I, I love a lot about it, but there are some pros and some cons, and I'm gonna get into both so you have an idea of whether this is something that you wanna get into. So one of the things right away is it's DIY, which I love. I love the fact that I was able to purchase this, bring it home, set it up, and it didn't take me long at all to get it up and running. I love that about this system because although there are other systems that work kind of the same, a lot of them take installation. You got to set that up. You got to wait. There's the, the wiring is, is intricate. This was very simple, uh, very basic, but very effective. One of my favorite features about the Ring video doorbell is the fact that you can be anywhere in the world and answer your doorbell as if you were there. So no matter whether you're home or not, no one will ever know. And that to me is the most secure feature about this. There's two different setups that you can buy. For 159, you get the base station, the keypad, uh, one motion sensor, one window or door sensor, and a, um, and a signal booster for the, and that's 159. And then the 199, the one that I got, it came with the base station, the keypad, the motion sensor, five of the um, door or window sensors, and the booster. So you could also get the extra keypad. Um, there's a couple of different um, sets you can buy. And the good thing about it is there, you can add on to it at any time. When you get into this, it, you're not you're not limited if your house is bigger or smaller you can you can set it up how you need um, and if you don't need the parts and you don't use them so they give you so many options with it now I would have to say the biggest pro to this is the ease of use once you set it up it's so easy the app the ring app is on your phone um, both my wife and I have it both set up so we can use it in you know um, interchangeably and if she sees something I see something you know we both see it so I don't have to say hey do you know that substance and she already knows because it's on her phone as well I love the fact that it communicates with you um, instantly I love the fact that you can see when you pull up the app it, it has the last images and, and then it updates quickly and it gives you the ability to see exactly what's going on and the monitoring they have 24 7 monitoring if you and if you I mean you can do it at monthly basis but doing it for the year is a hundred dollars for the year which is that's ridiculous ridiculous I I, I'm, I was amazed that it was only a hundred dollars a year you know that's less than ten dollars a month and when I say that it's because it allows you to have the server backups of all your video it allows you to, to record everything that goes on and what I like is if there's an if there's an action the video goes back like seconds before it. it doesn't just record when it starts when the action tripped it goes before it so you catch the entire incident one of the other things that I love about this is the neighborhood there's a neighborhood portion of the app so anyone around in a certain mile radius that you set anyone that has the ring alarm system you guys form a neighborhood bond so if I if someone comes in my to my doorbell and they ring my doorbell and it's someone I don't know and they're, they're trying to take packages or trying to break in or any of that I can instantly send that video to the neighborhood so everybody that has the ring alarm system they can tell so it's not just my alarm system securing my home it's the whole neighborhood coming together to secure each other 
It has 104 decibel siren, which is loud if necessary, if you need to set it off. Now, I will say that there are some cons. Now, the system is completely dependent upon the internet in your house. So if you have crappy internet, then, then you may have issues with the connection. Now, I have good cable internet. However, my base station kept disconnecting um, and when it did, the good thing is it has a cell phone backup, so it automatically kicks to the cell phone backup, and it's built in. So I didn't have a problem. It would kick to that, and, and so it never stopped monitoring. However, I did keep seeing, you know, that it would drop out of connection with the Wi-Fi and go to the cellular backup, and then it would tell me that it was back on the the uh, Wi-Fi connection when it went back, which was fine. I just didn't like the back and forth. So what I did was from my router to the base station, I did an ethernet cable, did a hard wire, and that got rid of that problem, so I didn't have that problem. Um, and that was probably the biggest con to me when it comes to this. Um, the other thing that is a con is I had to turn off recording inside my um, main part of my house because we're always moving around and it would record every time we moved around and then notify me there was movement there was movement so obviously I had to um, set that now that's just minor adjustments that's not a big deal because all you have to do is just tell it when to you know record and when not to and that's the customization but you know at first I was like oh boy this thing is, is binging me every 10 seconds um, so I had to, to turn that turn that portion off now when you set your alarm Of course you want it to always record because then if there's any action you want it to record So I love that. I love that you can remotely set it um, If you leave and forget to set it you can just go on your phone and set it uh, You can set it from you know the keypad obviously um, So I, I love that um, I think that's a great option Another thing I like about it is the fact that it's it can be Alexa enabled so once you connect this to your Alexa, and, and we have them all over the house, you can set and disarm your alarm di directly from Alexa, which is another point of convenience. It comes with a range extender, so if you have issues in your house and you have a larger home, the range extender will allow you to boost your signal and send it out further. Uh, for the interior house, I also got one of the Ring stick-up cams. That's what I use for the inside of the house. Uh, the stick up cam and it worked it's just the same it works seamlessly again two-way communication um, and it's just another part of the alarm the other thing that mine came with was the ring chime pro which is the indoor chime and wi-fi extender built into one now what that allows you to do again it allows you to extend your wi-fi signal so that you can reach more of your home for the regular base station in, in the interior chime i have it it has a regular um, doorbell chime but then the doorbell itself, when you ring it, it says, uh, it audibly says someone is at your front door, which is a great feature. Now for the exterior cameras, you can have the wired option, which is what I have, or you can have, um, they have a, a battery operated only version, which you have to swap out the batteries every couple of months and recharge them. And you can buy a rechargeable pack and swap them back and forth. And they also have a solar panel option, which I really like because you can mount that to the top or the corner of your house and, and it'll, it'll give you perpetual energy from the sun. So that's as far as the alarm, the doorbell, and the interior camera. The pros and cons I'll list up on the screen here. And now, and now I'm gonna move on to the Ecobee 4 thermostat. Now the digital thermostat gives you a lot of information. It tells you the temperatures inside, the temperatures outside, the forecast. It'll give you all kinds of information. Now it's much of the same idea. It's connected to Alexa, which I love as well, so that I can simply say, Alexa, turn up the heat, Alexa, turn down the heat, and she'll do so. But what I also like is that it has a speaker built into the Ecobee, which is something I didn't know until I was getting into purchasing it. And not only does it, can you talk to it to tell it to do that, but you can have it play music from the thermostat. You can, it, all the things that the Alexa, uh, the main Alexa units can do, it'll do. The only thing it won't do is make the phone calls. For any of the other Echo devices, you can have Alexa make phone calls for you, which I do on a regular basis. The thermostat, that's the only thing it doesn't do yet, and that may come with an update. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Once again, we went over the Ring Alarm a Home Security System, the Ring Video Doorbell System, 
And we also talked about the Eco Before Alexa enabled thermostat. I hope you got something out of it. I hope there was some, if, if there was any questions that you had, I hope I was able to answer them. If not, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below. If it's a question I can answer, I certainly will. And if there's anything in this video that you saw that you want, look in the description below the video and that description will have a link that you can click to go directly to the product. I'm here for you. <laughs> now, I know that, and, and I say it like that because um, several people from uh, a few of my last videos were asking, hey, where can I get that item? I definitely put it in the links down, I mean, in, I put the links in the descriptions down below so that you can get what you need as easy as possible. Uh, again, I do this because I love to share uh, the things that I deal with, um, and I love to give you options so that maybe there's things that you wanna deal with. As always, if there's anything you wanna tell me about, anything you wanna talk to me about, anything you wanna show me, you can leave the comments down below or you can use the hashtag Gadgets Games Gear. Again, Gadgets Games Gear. That's the hashtag that I'll use to link all the videos and you guys, anything that you guys wanna show me. So I'll go there and check it out. And I definitely respond to all comments and questions as quick as I possibly can. I love to interact with you guys. Okay, I have fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. That's all I have for you today. And until next time, enjoy your gadgets, your games, and your gear.